All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors on two. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Akaku Dash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, I'm trying to make this quick. Um, this is an article from thedrive.com. This is from October 6, 2020, the year of prophecy. And, um, yep. And the headline is uh, here. This is the war zone. Work begins on Starlink like constellation of small hypersonic missile tracking satellites. Uh, the Pentagon's grand space strategy envisions a shift from larger, expensive satellites to massive constellations of smaller, easier to replace ones. Okay. And, um, and the reason why I'm bringing this out is because when you go into the scriptures, into the prophecy in the book of Obadiah, uh, it speaks about Esau. And it says that once he sets his nest upon the star, uh, uh, among the stars, all right, once he sets his nest among the stars, then will the heavenly father bring him down. OK. Um, and this is um, this. Uh, these um, hypersonic missile tracking satellites are basically uh, him setting his nest because nest goes into you saw setting his repping his weaponry out in the atmosphere okay um so let me read some of this it says the u.s military has hired l3 harris and spacex uh to build small satellites with powerful infrared sensors capable of spotting and tracking ballistic missiles and hypersonic weapons so this is esau basically trying to defend himself against the nuclear threat uh, but we know that uh, he's going to go down by that same threat. There's nothing that he can do to defend himself. It says these satellites could become part of a large of a large and broader early warning constellation with hundreds of space based sensors and communications uh, nodes watching for incoming threats, monitoring their flight and potentially providing target data to missile defense assets. And uh, I believe Elon Musk is a part of this with SpaceX. And this is also a way for him to uh, keep tabs on the chariots. All right. So I want to get a scripture. All right. And uh, I want to get a scripture. Uh, I'm going to read it. Um, in the book of Obadiah. Okay. Matter of fact. Give me one second. Let me see if I can pull that. Yeah, blue letter. So let's go to the blue letter. Let's go to Obadiah. All right, the first chapter. Okay. And this is what I want to bring out. Obadiah 1 and 4. It says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and that's what Esau has done, and though, thy, though thou set thy nest among the stars, Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So we're in, in the time of Esau going down. Okay? So I want to get the word for nest in the Hebrew. Okay? And, uh... Let's see. It's looking like I need my, uh, concordance. I need some service. But that's all right. <clears throat> um, but uh, basically, you know, once Esau is the eagle, you know, once he starts to uh, to uh, put his um, his technology among the heavens, then the Lord said that he's going to bring him down. OK. Um, so what's going to happen is this kingdom is going to be soon destroyed. OK. And there's nothing that these missile defense systems can do. All right. Um, and I really want to bring that out, but um, let's see here. Yeah, I just want to make this quick. I'll, uh, I'll leave a link. Okay. But um, so what I'll do is I'll go back in the scriptures and... The Heavenly Father says that he's going to have his angels and his chariots uh, appear in the heavens 
to take this man down. Okay? So let's go to Revelation, the first chapter and the seventh verse. And this is speaking about Yahweh Shah himself. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Who's coming? Yahweh Shai. So everyone's going to see um, Yahweh Shai coming uh, with the so-called UFOs. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so amen and that's and that's um him bringing the destruction okay now when you go in the revelation the 12th chapter it talks about the war in heaven so this is revelation 12 and 7 and there was war in heaven so although esau has these missile defense systems and he's thinking that he can uh track track uh track um these um chariots and and check and track these hypersonic missiles with these new uh constellation satellites it's not going to work it says and there was war in heaven now the christian church would tell you that this happened with uh satan and lucifer was cast out of heaven now this is talking about the future uh battle in the air between the different um uh, air forces amongst these different governments and the actual ufos the chariots okay it says, Michael and his angels, which are the angels of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, fought against the dragon. The dragon is Esau. And the dragon fought in his angels. That's his, um, uh, his air force. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So this missile defense system that Esau has set up, with, you know, with these constellations to track these missiles. Okay. All right. Uh, this Starlink. It's not going to, to, to defend against the Heavenly Father, all right? Because the Lord has to bring judgment upon Esau upon Esau for his wickedness, okay? So there's nothing he can do, all right? He's not going to prevail. It says, it says in verse 8, And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. So no more rulership. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. We know who the devil is, all right? so-called white man that's the devil everybody's waking up to that fact and satan i mean he's the adversary which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out into the earth i mean he's going to go down into a place of uh, slavery and his angels were cast out with him it says and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven and now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power which is the power of the israelites the god of the israelites and the power of his of his anointed which is yahweh shai not Jesus the Christ, but Yahweh Shai. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Esau's the accuser of the Israelites. The so-called black spend the Native Americans. He accuses us, he makes us thugs and criminals on media and the TV. Alright. Put us in captivity, but the Lord said he's gonna go down. Alright? Like like I read in Obadiah, the Lord shall bring him down once he puts these things into the heavens. It says, which accused him before our power day and night. So the Lord's going to take this man out, man. So although he has this, uh, this, this, um, these missile tracking satellites, it's not going to work at the end of the day, you know. But um, uh, with that, you know, I'm going to end it there. Um, uh, to Lord willing that this was edifying, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Shalom.